hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima sorry about the background noise i hope you guys cannot hear that noise that's going on around here because my neighbors are fighting yes fighting so but i don't want anything to distract me please i need to get these videos done and dusted so um okay we move today i'm going to talk about my biochemistry question paper <laughs> my biochemistry mock mbbs question paper so um uh, we asked six questions to answer five so number one a um they said the hydration of a compound with strong acids is a good example of an elimination reaction explain the above statement by showing the bio biochemical significance of this reaction with simple sugars but okay, she doesn't like story this is straightforward you just show an example simple like this question is very very straightforward <laughs> the lecturer that taught us this question and he told us in class in case i ask you a question like this just give it to me it's straightforward like i've given you in your notes so i mean this is very very straightforward if you have not seen my video on how to answer about chemistry questions in exam please go and see that video i'll put the link up for you guys before you come here because i'm not going to go into too much details i will just you know try and be fast so that we can finish up in less than 10 minutes i don't want to waste your time so for the b was the the question was a variety of complex changes occur with the within the enzyme active sites which facilitates the substrate transformation briefly explained four of such changes we were not taught unfortunately we were not taught and i don't know why the lecturer brought this out for a full 10 marks we were not taught i personally did not answer this number one question because of this one b we were not taught and but i found out that my junior colleagues were taught so i checked out the lecture slide that was given to them and this was included to just four changes in particular with small explanation on that so it wasn't even story that they needed remember to the biochemistry department does not need story then number two a with a suitable example highlights different functions of proteins of our medical importance this one is i think they are eight or nine in number it was also in, included in our in our notes catalytic proteins and um, regulatory proteins just stuff like that they were eight in number just i just listed them i'll give a give at least one example and their function okay then to be sa said um discuss adverse effects of excessive redox reactions in cells and, and tissues this is also in included in our lecture slide just to explain how redox reactions give rise to the re reactive oxygen species and, and their adverse reactions in a cell or a tissue, especially on the cell membrane. Straightforward. 3A said, explain six factors affecting enzyme activity according to the International Union of Biochemistry. This one too is straightforward. You just listed pH, temperature, subject constitution, enzyme constitution, blah, 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 blah. Try to, if there's a graph, show the graph on how it actually affects enzyme activity so this one is also straightforward 3b said provide the following information on vitamins a d k and c their trivial names their active forms major metabolic role major deficiency disease this one too is straightforward you just write the trivial name write its action active form is major metabolic role major deficiency disease like you know vitamin a is nice blindness you just write it there straightforward no need for unnecessary stories then um 4a said briefly explain the role of any two of these enzyme activities in dna replication helicase primase dna polymerase ligase i personally chose to write on dna polymerase and ligase but even though we're asked to write on offer i would have still written on all the four these are just straightforward you just no need for introduction as to write. i've told you but chemistry do not like story you just write what is their role in dna replication 4b what is the relevance of homologous um, recombination and reproduction this particular question is relative to your own lecturer for my own lecturer we were taught in class it was not in the lecture slide it was something that we heard just by word of mouth so it's only those that were very attentive in class that were able to answer this question and 4c said three, give three distinctive features between rna transcription and dna replication straightforward also if you even know up to five give them all the five then 4d said write short notes on growth hormone excess in adulthood you know it's acromegaly that they're talking about you just like this the lecturer that asked us this question is a professor of biochemistry and also a medical doctor so we knew that w in answering this question we we needed to give yes we needed to give the biochemical 
um, significance of this disease, but at the same time, we need to give add a note of the clinical and um, the clinical effects. So, the introduction needed, the symptoms, the causes, um, prognosis, blah 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 blah. Short story. Then five A said, as a forensic expert, discuss how you can detect crime using at least five different forensic tools. This one too, we're giving a lecture slide on this and we're actually giving six, but we're actually write five out of the six. I actually devised the mnemonics, R, my RSVP. <laughs> That's what I used to remember this. So I just listed them all out, the Y chromosome analysis, polymerase chain reaction, mitochondrial DNA, blah, 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 blah. Then 5B, write short note on high blood pressure, stating the stages, symptoms, and ways to control it without medication. This was also indicated in our notes, but in particular, this is nutritional biochemistry, especially when they said without medication. <laughs> so I was able to answer this question thanks to the fact that my dad is hypertensive. So I remember when I was reading this lecture slide, I actually... Um, um, took a picture of it and sent it to my dad and I was like, Daddy, please read it. This is what you should do. So I, in exam hall, I was just remembering how I was explaining to my dad what and what he should do. So <laughs> yeah, this is what helped me. So it's just straightforward. You just write the stages, write the symptoms, then ways to control it without medication, just like uh, exercise regularly, reduce alcohol intake, you know, just stuff like that. Then 6A, in regards to protective factors in breast milk, succinctly justify the position of World Health Organization on breastfeeding as the gold standard method of feeding infants. This one too is straightforward because we're actually giving a lecture slide and the lecturer actually listed like six to seven um, protective factors that are found in milk, like the immunoglobulin A, the lactoferrin and the rest that are found in breast milk that makes it a good standard method of feeding infant so straightforward list them out state why they are that they are perfect and protective factors in breast milk and 10b said based on hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity explain the mechanisms of hormonal action and highlight two major differences between them this one is not straightforward actually so you know when you know based on hormonal action there are some hormones that have their receptors in the cell membrane there are those who have their receptors in cytoplasm and those that act directly in the nucleus so this particular one is talking about the hydrophobic hormones and the hydrophilic hormone you know the hydrophobic hormones will have their own receptors in the cell membrane so it's just asking generally their mechanism of action and just for you to differentiate between the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic hormones and their um, mechanic and um, hormonal action so this question is not straightforward we were not actually directly given in our lecture note it was based on what we heard the lecturer explain in class so those who did not attend classes may find it difficult to answer this question exactly how the lecturer would want it so one good tip don't miss classes <laughs> so um that is it for biochemistry if you uh liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so but if you've subscribed already please just turn on the notification bell so that if i upload a new video youtube will notify you in the next video i'm going to talk about my practical what and what i was asked in my practical mock mbbs exam for anatomy biochemistry and physiology bye <laughs>